Hello, friends and fellow detectives. We're back. Jenny LeClue is working her way through the graveyard. She's looking at the conspicuous cross. This happened. This is the only tomb here with no epitaph. This has to be it. Okay, so she's going to try to find her way through. Oh, our compass is going wackadoodle. Inspect the mysterious object. This is clearly Zazer, Zazer technology. It's part of another Zazer sphere. Okay, and it was something by its foot. Another sticker. Look behind the stone. A scrap of paper. Okay, that's uh, all we're going to find there. Let's examine the tomb now. Oh boy, another puzzle. When did doors go out of fashion? If this is the entrance, then there must be some way to open it. Okay. So. What do we have? We've got these little things. That we can select a stone. And we can move them. To different points. Now. Oh, there's a... Uh, there's a sticker. Okay, so I, there's one in his foot. I feel like I'm going to want to get another one in his foot. Okay, so this one doesn't really want to go anywhere. Okay. So this one... When I move that one, it allows me maybe to move another one. Okay. Now they also, they all align. I notice there's like arrow uh, lines in them. That one doesn't want to move yet. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we can look at where these shapes want to be. Like that one actually wants to be... I see. These things got to get moved out of the way. Okay. So we can move this thing now up to here. Over to there. And then this thing down to here. Actually, we'll move this into here. This to there. Oh, this will want to go over. Uh, interesting. So I'm uh, out of points there. Out of placement places. Can I? No. See, I can't do anything else with these until... Um, I want to get okay <laughs> that's not going to work so if I were to okay hold the phone I want to get this one oh yeah okay sure we can do that and then we can move this one here I'm probably not moving the easiest one out of the way first is what I've been doing and then this is going to want to go here Right? Yep. That's definitely going to go there. This doesn't need to go anywhere there. Um, okay, so now what goes at the bottom here? The stripes that are going to go... These are backward stripes. So the yeah, what this suggests to me is that uh, these little doohickeys are going to want to be... Oh, hold the phone. No, there is one that wants to go up there. But it isn't this one. Is it this one here? It wants to go up there. Okay. Uh, now, well, the problem is, is if I let that one through. Okay. <laughs> okay, you can go there. You can go there. This isn't actually all that bad. This can go this. Oh, no, we want this to go this way. There we go. And then we will need to get these ones out of the feet. So I'm just going to have to move uh, out of this out of the way. And then we'll move this stone out of the way. 
So it'll be... Is that one the one I want is pointed on an angle? Yes, I think it is. This is going to go here. And then we'll get the other one. So we got to get a stone out of the way. So what I suspect... Oop, uh, I don't want to put these things like way out of the way. And I think what I'm going to want to do... Let's see. Um, Cause I need to get this thing out of the way for sure. But I, I'm gonna want to get this thing. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So I think I want to get this thing, this piece, into here is what I'm gonna want to do. But the question is, is how do I get? The, okay, so let's do this. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Now we can put this over here. Move this out of the way. And we'll put this here. And then we'll move this other one out of the way. This one was a rather easy puzzle, really. Just like a trial and error type thing. Okay, and whether I've got the studs in the right spot or, as well. That seemed to have done it. And the grave is lifting up. We've got ourselves an entrance. Well, well. Okay, that's not spooky. I think we should definitely go in there. Jenny peered into the ominous void. A jagged path carved into the earth, plunging deep beneath the rotting soil. How far down did it go? Was there only one? W there was only one way to find out. I'm not sure I want to. Gathering her courage, she stepped forward into the distended bowels of Arthurton. Ahem, I said. She stepped forward into the distended bowels of Arthurton. When you make it sound like that, buddy. Away she goes. So now the narrator is really pushing her forward. It's dark down there. Jenny, come in. Jenny, where are you? Give me a sec, please. I need a moment before I walk into a pitch black staircase into a terrifying abyss. Sorry, Jenny. Jenny stared into the darkness. She could almost hear her mother's voice calling. The great detective perseveres, no matter the obstacle. And so she took a deep breath, pushed up the thick frame of her glasses, and headed in. All right, down we go, descending into the abyss. So I guess I should keep scanning my flashlight forward. I can't run down these stairs. It just builds up the tension. It's a long, steep way down. That's a heck of a staircase. And it looks like I wanted to say we're reaching a plateau. But I don't know that we... Oh, there we are. We're approaching some kind of light source down here. Hello? What is this? It's a door. Inspect the door? I guess we will. There's nothing else to do. Another door? Locked, I presume. Whoever built all this certainly wanted to keep it a secret. Okay. Okay, let's find the sweet spot. Oh. Alright. Number two. And... Number three. In we go. Jenny was ahead of the man in black. For now. There was still the matter of breaking her mom out of jail and escaping without being caught. Being careful not to make a sound, Jenny stepped cautiously into the dark space below. All right. It is a basement of a disused building. 
Automat. Oh. See something? Say something. Stay alive. A water cool burbles in the corner. Oh, that made me dizzy. This isn't a tunnel. It's like a creepier version of a Dr. Benderson's office. Less natural light, same terrible music. Okay, so what do we got over here? Stickers? Scrap of paper. All right, and now we're headed into a, a giant metallic door standing conspicuously in the middle of the room. It must lead to the jail, a perfectly reasonable assumption. There was just one problem. How do I open it? It's blast proof, it says. Examine the door. Jenny knocked on the door. Based on the resonance and the fact that my hand hurts like hell, I'd say this door is solid steel, at least four inches thick. No handle and no keyhole. Whoever built this wanted to keep people out. Or in, depending on which side you're on. Another animal. This one's a fox. Could this have something to do with Professor Zazzer's experiments or the Council of Three? Blast proof. So, the explosives are useful. Or useless, perhaps. I don't know how to pick this. It's some kind of slot. It's, is something missing? Jenny came to a distressing yet inevitable conclusion. I can't open it. I'm stuck. Of course there's a giant metal door that's impossible to open. Why wouldn't there be? It would be easy to feel defeated, but this was Jenny LeClue, a great detective. And as her mother always said, a great detective sees every locked door as an opportunity. Yes, an opportunity for an elaborate puzzle and lateral thinking. <laughs> the case of the giant metal door. Okay. Use a water cooler. Oh. Well, that's interesting. That just disappeared as an option. Someone works here, or at least they did, judging by oh, the dust or something. Search a trash can. To a detective, rummaging through a trash can was like opening a treasure chest, just with more gum and cigarette butts. Gross. My initial assessment... Looks like a lot of junk. A rotten sandwich, napkins, belly button lint. Wait a second. There's a note here that's been torn up. Could be a clue. Okay. Okay, and the last piece. Dear Trudy, sorry to hear you're having more trouble with the machine. Someone will take be will be out to look at it on Monday. Sincerely, John Exor. Corgi Group, man's best vend. <laughs> From the office of John J. Exor. Corgi Corp. Too easy, they should have used a shredder. Okay, so let's zoom in on this. It says, look for clues. Okay. Oh, flip. I see. I mean, in the meantime, use this. I know a secret code when I see one. This could be useful. Okay. And we're going to search through the filing cabinets. A cookie. <laughs> a cookie, well, a cookie uh, sticker is what it is. Okay, we use the water cooler. Now we'll search this filing cabinet. Same deal. Empty. Something in the couch. What do we have? It was always a good idea to put your hand between the crusty crevices of a sofa cushion. All kinds of exotic things could be found. What's this? A scrap of paper. Oh, excellent. We've got enough now to uh, begin this uh this puzzle okay oh let's put this thing together 
And we'll go here. Okay, and this one will come around here. And this one will go in right here. Okay, what do we have? Arthurton. So there's three mummies on it. One of them is in shadow. Two of them are uh, have dis things all going on. A postcard. Hey, sis. You love it here. It always feels like fall. Junior year has been a real whirlwind. I'm having a hard time with my dissertation. Tip, don't major in ancient Arthurtonian culture. So I went to the museum for an inspiration. Found some really lovely jewelry. Give Petey a big hug for me. Did he like the bone I sent him? Gemma. The Gemma. So we've got some gems and we've got some uh, some decimals below them. I don't know if these are like Dewey decimals or what this is. So we got a, a pink one that is like uh, 6775.54. And another pentag pentagonal one, and uh, uh, whatever is a hexagon, and then a square, a tri or diamond. Sorry. So um, I'll zoom out of that, and let's flip it back over. Okay, I guess that's it. So we know that there is a a clue on that. Oh no, I don't want to search. We're gonna use that water cooler again. We have to go bathroom soon, I think. And we'll use a vending machine. Detectiving was hungry work, and Jenny couldn't remember the last time she'd eaten anything. What I really want is a hot coffee. So she brews the selection on offer. And kiss of death. Kiss of death. Kiss of death. Uh, so we got A15. The A's and the B's. Key. Uh, why, why is there one named Key? The key. Open the door to yum. These candy names are getting ridiculous bunch of nuts gross i hate peanut butter gotta be something better big crunch fight hunger with a punch i've had one of these before it tastes like cardboard kiss of death well at least they're honest what kind of vending machine doesn't serve coffee jenny found it hard to focus without her usual evening brew perhaps a nice bar of chocolate would help this is a waste of time how's chocolate bar gonna help me open that door and that's when it hit her the key Open the door to yum. Surely a humorous but irreverent, irrelevant tagline. It's the perfect shape to fit in the slot on the door. A mere coincidence. It's literally a key to a door. It'd be a rather strange place to hide a key. Stranger than waiting room beneath the graveyard? That's my ticket out of here. B31. Got it. Okay. B31. I don't have any change. Huh. Is there nothing uh, hidden? Is there a, what do you call that? A, uh, a slot where an extra change comes out? Hmm. And we don't, it's not giving us an interesting, oh, there's a sticker up here, some cookies. Nice, blindingly. Okay, so we're going to need to find some change. Let's open the door to this room, the storage closet. Look at the mop. It's an old, dirty mop. Okay, that's all. It's an old, dirty mop. All right. That's all there is? That's weird. It keeps giving it to me. Okay, I've hit the wall there. Okay. So I don't have a coin. Huh, interesting. So I want to get that chocolate bar. We want something that's like resembles a coin. And okay, I'm just going to walk slowly along here. I am wondering if there's going to be something with the vending machine. Yeah, that's strange that that won't, uh... Okay, so there must be something with the vending machine itself. Let's try here. 
There's nothing on the edges here. There's nothing along the floor that I'm seeing. There is a power cable, but that doesn't seem to be doing anything. We really want to get that thing. B31. Okay. Huh. Now he said something about it being out of order as well. So what can we do to deal with this thing that is out of order? The plug isn't giving us anything. Okay, I'm going to head back over here again. So we search the desk, we search the garbage. Okay, so it's something that's already uh, obvious to us, or should be obvious to us. And we can't go up the stairs or do anything there. Okay. So it must be something to do with this. So, is there any of these that are going to cause it to maybe jam? Uh, like Big Crunch, B14. Okay. I don't have any change. And then uh, B31. Five AB. What is that? That was interesting. Five AB. Okay. One forty five. B thirty one. Got it. That was really bizarre. Okay. Typical stupid machine. Give me the key. It's no good. It's stuck. How can I get the key out? Is it leaning to against the glass? Okay, so we're looking for clues now. Hmm. Okay, let's, can we do some of the leg? That's why it's stuck. Oh, one of the legs is slightly tilted. Yep, it's just leaning just slightly. Short leg, stuck on glass. The machine is one short leg, making it lean forward and to the right. Tilt the machine, and we'll get our goodies. If I tilt the machine to the left, I should be able to get the key out. But Jenny wasn't strong enough to lift a vending machine by herself. I'm going to need some leverage. Okay, let's get the mob now. <laughs> of course, I can use a mob to tilt the machine. A little bit of legwork and I'll have that key out in no time. See, it's interesting because it's not obvious why you couldn't use the mop initially. There we go. I did it. Uh-oh. We're also ripping the entire wall open. Oh, crud. Okay, well, let's get that, uh, let's get the key. It's just chocolate. Of course, it came from a vending machine. But I thought, why would anyone hide a key to a giant metal door inside a candy bar? Dot, dot, dot. Actually, now that I think about it, it does sound pretty ridiculous. But necessity was the mother of invention. Jenny may have failed to open the mysterious door, but thanks to her ingenuity, she created her own way through. She peered inside the hole. It was just wide enough for her to squeeze through. Well, 
Well, look what we have here. Jenny shone her flashlight on a damaged section on the brick wall. I can see through it to the other side. The path ahead was dark and foreboding, but Jenny was too excited to be afraid, and so without hesitation she crawled into the rocky passageway. And I suspect that this is probably going to be a good point for us to take a break as soon as we get through here. Oh, we're going to climb through? All right, let's climb through here a little bit. And we'll see if we can't make our way through. Well, I just want to see where this leads to. Oh, it leads to some standing room is what it leads to. And it does lead to some caverns. What does it say? The barricade says, Tunnel 12, stay out, stay alive. Just another friendly message, warning of my impending doom. Glatz Mining Corp. Jenny. Don't do that. Sorry, I just want to make sure you're okay. The walkie-talkies are for emergencies only, not chit-chat. I'm about to enter one of the abandoned mines. An abandoned mine? Be careful, Jenny. Those tunnels are dangerous. This is the case of a lifetime. Of course it's dangerous, but you'll get lost. Those tunnels run underneath the entire town. Exactly. One of them must lead to the jail. You're right. I bet I can find it on my map. What are you talking about? What map? In my grandma's journal. He was a great car grandpa's journal. He was a great cartographer and mapped out all of the tunnels. And you've had this with you the whole time? I always keep it with me. It makes me feel close to him. Convenient. Why didn't you tell me this before? I didn't know you were going to end up in the mines. Fine, I'm in Tunnel 12. See if you can find it on the map. Okay, I'm on it, Jenny. The barricade was old and rotten. Shouldn't be too hard to remove if I find a weak spot. All right, this is where we're going to take a break. We're going to get in here and uh, make our way into this barricade. We're going to find our weak spot. And uh, uh, yeah, there you go. It's not, not too hard to find your, your weak spots when you're, you're Jenny uh, butt-kicking the clue. There we go. In we go. And we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.